Seriously, I forgot my glasses. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. All right, today's video, I wanted to talk about range. So uh, if you guys remember, I, uh, I recently did a, a video on what was my, uh, what was the range in my car. And uh, I, I would typically charge to 80% and I was seeing 252 to 254 miles at 80%. And, um, and that, was, yeah, that was pretty consistent. And um, so I, over, I'd say this was about going back maybe a month and a half or so, uh, month, month and a half ago that I did that video. But then shortly thereafter, I noticed that I would charge the car and it was no longer 252 to 254. It was 251 then at, uh, again, this is at 80% state of charge like 251 and then I saw 250 then 249 and 248 and I mean it's like every three or four days I was losing one more mile off of my 80% state of charge and it was kind of freaking me out that got to the point where I was down at 246 miles <clears throat> at an 80% state of charge which I mean it's not that it's that big a deal a few miles but it was consistently dropping uh, again, I was seeing 254 pretty regularly, but <clears throat> for sure 252 or better. And it was 251, 250, and it just kept going down. And I thought, this is kind of nuts. You know, what's going on? And I talked to Tesla, and they did an internal battery capacity test and told me that my battery's fine and that there's a, an odd algorithm issue that's uh, that they're having with the, the charge software. And if I go ahead and just ignore it, it should be fine. And I thought, you know... I wonder, now going back to, to Kim from Like Tesla, a bunch of you guys brought up her video about where Tesla told her to charge the car all the way to 100%, drop it down as close to 0% as she can stomach, go all the way back up to 100% again, and uh, to give the car's software a chance to figure out where the bottom and top of the charge is and her numbers should go up. Now as a sidebar, she was having far greater issues than I was. Her car at 100%, her Model 3, long range Model 3, at 100% state of charge was showing 260 miles of range, if, I, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. And um, which is, uh, that's a pretty drastic drop. And uh, so she was seeing 50 mile drop from rated. Her car was rated at 310, mine's rated at 325. But uh, so, uh, and she did that and it, it was supposed to help. Well, I've had a number of you as viewers that have said you've tried that and it, it didn't seem to do any good. So I was a little leery on it. Well, I, when I went down to the machinist for the screen mounts and sidebar, this is a pre-production uh, screen mount in stock. And uh, this is a 9% rake back uh, angle, inch and three quarters drop and pitched over to the side. Uh, it's slid to the right while pitched to the side, so it, it sort of gives a pivot angle. And uh, so that's, uh, they'll be in production here soon. Thank you everyone who has ordered them. Anyway, uh, when I went down to the machinist, I live northwest of Chicago. I drove down right near St. Louis. And uh, I went down from an hour northwest of Chicago down to uh, Springfield, Illinois in one trip. I left at 100% state of charge. Now, when I... I got out in the morning and looked, I was at 306 miles of rated range at 100% state of charge and that bothered me because my car's rated at 325 and I, it's never seen full, full range, but 317 or so was typical, 316, 317-ish at 100% uh, at state of charge, so 306 was pretty far down that was a few percent lower than i was seeing before so definitely a problem so i drove down to springfield i arrived at springfield with i think three or four percent maybe it's four percent state of charge and i uh, supercharged there so you can see i am um, charging at 142 kilowatts and uh, 600 and some miles uh, per hour of charge and then went down to my friend's house just outside of St. Louis, went back, 
charged all the way to 100% in St. Louis, or excuse me, in, um, in Springfield, and then drove all the way home and charged it all the way back up again. And at this point now, I'm seeing uh, my, my rated range is back up about 315 miles or higher. So let's see here, display. Right now, uh, at 74% state of charge, that's 231 miles. So let's do the math real quick here. 234 miles divided by 74% uh, state of charge would be 312 miles of, of rated range. Uh, but there is some fluctuation in that. But I'm basically right at about 315. Uh, the couple times that I have charged uh, since then, up to 80 and 90%, I'm showing that I should have about a 315 mile range at 100% state of charge. So I just wanted to let you guys know that yes, it, and I've previously, I've told a number of you guys that I've never seen it. You know, I, I know a number of people that have tried the 100% to down very low and 100% and down very low and that it hasn't reset their range, but it has in my case. So if you guys are seeing drastically reduced range, it's not that your battery has an internal uh, chemistry issue. It's an algorithm in the car, the software, needs to find where the bottom of the of the state of charge is and the top to sort of recalibrate itself so yeah i would say definitely give it a try drive down to two or three percent state of charge but don't leave it sit there immediately plug it in charge it all the way to 100 percent, and don't let it sit at 100 percent. drive it down a little bit again staying if you're really low or really high state of charge just only be there for a brief period of time is best but go ahead and try that and report back let me know your findings. Let me know if you guys have then seen an improvement in your rated range and the numbers on your screen. So anyway, hope that wasn't too confusing for you guys today. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions on the car. And again, the screen mounts are going into production shortly here. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited. I, I think uh, Tuesday of next week, it's currently Friday. I believe it's Tuesday that we go into full production. I had three minor changes that I want the machinist to make to the prototype he sent me, and then they're going into production. I also need to have the, the leather covering uh, boot for the back designed and made at the upholstery shop. So anyway, it's coming right along. So thanks guys, have yourselves a wonderful day. Take it easy now, bye-bye.